What's going on guys? It's Carlos Thomas Jr. here and as you can see, I'm representing Darkness Nation and uh, we're welcoming here in Brazil, having so much fun, receiving a lot of love and we're putting the one and only Rude Boy through a heck of an arm workout guys. So we're going to show you some cool exercises, some good tips and remember to follow along. Ugh, there it is, we're in deep waters now. You going to sink, you going to swim. Figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in it now. Now you got me. Now you got me started, bro. Oh boy. Now you got me started. Get it. Be Carlos, come on. Quantos centímetros? Ó, até perigoso falar quantos centímetros. Tem a braceta do Carlos Thomas Jr. A galera tá vendo? Ó, tô esticar, ó, ó. Para não ver que eu tô, não tô deixar folgado não. Fala família, se liga só, vou começar meu treino agora, mas antes vou dar uma super dica para você que quer um pré-treino que vai fazer diferença e super vantagem, já vem pronto, tá aqui na minha mão o vasculô, completinho, glicerina, cafeína, totalmente completo para você que quer manter o seu pump e seu músculo cheio dentro do seu treinamento, vem com a gente, o melhor do mercado. Ai. Bom, galera da Integral TV, estamos aqui realmente para fazer um treinão com o novo atleta Darkness. Que aquisição! A time da Arsa está vir forte, mas um atleta para agregar com a time, mas não só, com todo o Brasil. É realmente um atleta, meu, diferencial, onde vai trazer muita informação dos Estados Unidos, métodos de treino, vai vos mostrar realmente como que se motiva, inspira e com tanta informação vocês tanto pediram, o Brasil pediu, para realmente continuar a expandir todo o nosso conhecimento. Eu falo sempre, o Brasil não está chegando, o Brasil já chegou, e chegou com muita força. Como vocês estão a ver, mais de 30 atletas qualificados para o Mr. Olímpia. Só na time da Integral já temos mais de 10 atletas dentro do Mr. Olímpia. Então, vou vos apresentar o grande Carlos Thomas, da Big Smalls, da Tank. Vamos arrumar um apelido para ele, peço a vossa ajuda aqui nos comentários. Arrumem um apelido para ele, Carlos Thomas Jr. What's going on, guys? It's Carlos Thomas Jr. here, and as you can see, I'm representing Darkness Nation, and uh, we're welcoming here in Brazil, having so much fun, receiving a lot of love, and we're putting the one and only Rude Boy through a heck of an arm workout, guys. So we're going to show you some cool exercises, some good tips, and remember to follow along. What are you using up there? What are you having? So, is it amino hard? Yeah. Two scoops of these, and then we're going to do the Evra. We work out, but here we have the aminos, of course, as yes. you know, anti calabotic okay. starts the muscle protein building uh, blocks, protein synthesis, all that good stuff. Has glutamine in here, so it helps with recovery, and glutamine helps with gut health too, which I'm very big on. So, not only does glutamine help you recover, but it helps your stomach um, and helps you, you know, make sure that you don't have any like digestive issues. So, twofold product here. That's really good you're saying because a lot of people does not believe in glutamine. It's a it's a good it's a it's a simple product, but it helps in so many ways. People think glutamine recovery, recovery, recovery. Yes, glutamine is good for recovery, but it helps with the, the lining of your stomach. So when you eat a lot of food like us, you want to make sure you protect that. So I take glutamine in the morning. Um, so you could do the glutamine product that we have, yeah. standalone by itself. But the good thing about this one, it's included in the amino product. So not only do you like I said you. Got the muscle building process started from the leucine, the isoleucine, the valine, and all the other essential amino acids, which have glutamine in here, which helps with the muscle recovery, which also protects the stomach. So, multifaceted product here. Yeah. So how many, how many grams do you roughly recommend? Uh, so I usually recommend two, 10 grams in the morning. So I do 10 grams of glutamine in the morning, five with my intra workout, um, and then I usually do another 10 at night. So okay. that's around 25 grams total. So you. Don't have to start with that, yeah. you know. You guys can build your way up. Do five, five, five. Um, so five in the morning, five pre-workout or intra-workout, and then five um, in the evening. But I just think it helps a lot with my stomach and my recovery. That's good. So twofold product. That's awesome. I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is my first time. Yeah. This way. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Carlos, I don't know if you use it, but this is one of the things. I've been try, try, because literally, 
it doesn't get my elbow. Yeah, I love this one. We have a, like a different version. Okay. But this, like, I love these. Like you said, the, the tension, the elbow feels great. Sometimes with the rope, yeah. it's a bit different. Like, you feel a little bit tension in your elbow. But this is actually what I like to start off with. Okay. Um, so, I like to start off with um, this type of tricep press down around four sets. Okay. With the last set being like a, a, um, a digressive like rest set. So, what happens is um, we'll go ahead and we'll do... You know how people kind of do like um, like uh, rest pauses, yeah. where you do the set and you rest ten seconds. But we'll do is we'll um, keep the same weight mm -hmm. for the last set. But what we'll do is we'll decrease rest time. So say you do seventeen point uh, five here, yeah. and you hit twelve reps, yeah. and it's instead, instead of taking um, sixty like sixty seconds, we'll take twenty seconds. Okay. Do it again. Fifteen seconds do it again, and then 10 seconds, do it again. So what happens is, is like the rest time decreases. Decreases. Okay. So yeah, Perfect. so like it's like, it's called, like, it's a little trick I do. Instead of doing like a full on rest pause where you may rest 10 seconds and then do it again, it's more of an extended, like a, like a drop set, but with your rest time, okay. if that makes sense. So exhaust yeah, tricep. so you'll see, check it out. Yeah. Do, especially young guys, right? Yeah. Um, you'll see them in the gym as they'll, they're here yeah. with it and they let a lot of body motion happen. So just keep the elbows nice and tucked. And the trip for the, the triceps is you wanna get a really good stretch. So you wanna make sure that you're getting a full stretch in there. Some people may stop here, but make sure that forearm almost touches that bicep. Perfect. Simple. We'll do 12 to 15 reps. She finna bust it. Her name ain't Megan, but yeah, she a stallion. The way that we dress her ran out of Italian. New chain busting. Peep the medallion. Pull your own troubles out by the gallon. Her name ain't Lotta, but she from the south. Her name ain't Ruby, she got a big mouth. Putting it in, she's sticking it out. Putting it in, she's sticking it down. She likes salsa. That's a good question here. Is people ask me, like, okay, how do I know, like, when to go up and wait? And I, I like to say, like, if you can get, say, the 15, and on a scale of uh, 1 to 10, it's like a 7 or 8 you can kind of go up. Um, so that's what like, people call like a fancy term nowadays, RPE. You know, they like, oh, RPE, rate of perceived exhaustion. Um, people go like, okay, well, like, how do I know? And then you just kind of scale to one to 10. How hard was it? Was it a seven? Was it an eight? Um, if it's a seven, you increase the weight. When it's a 10 and you got to 15, it was like, well, I barely got 15 reps. Yeah. You keep the weight the same. Awesome. So that's like, you know, for the young people out there, like they, they want to increase weight. If you're struggling off the first set and it's a 10, back down the weight. So that's a smart advice there. It's like it or love it, it's double or nothing. You ain't getting money, then you bugging. Damn fat, you know I'm a hug it. Lows by the truck, up the bucket, cash on the dam, down the bucket. OD, you know all it does it. If it ain't moolah, we cannot discuss it. Her name is Erica, she finna bust it. Well, made it touch What's your style of training? Yeah, so it's a mix. Like, I've tried a lot. I've tried high volume. I've tried giant sets, <laughs> super set. I've, and I've done the low, the low volume, Dorian Yates type of hit training. And to me, I feel like I'm more in the middle, you know, of everything. Um, and, it, and it varies from body part, to be honest. The way I train my arms isn't the same way I train my chest. And the way I train my chest isn't the same way I train my back. So honestly, it, it varies for body part for me. So for arms, since they're very responsive for me, I like to do a mid volume. So 12 to 15, and then I'll do some, super, some maybe a superset or drop set in it. Um, so for, I, I would like to say my, my style of training is a mixture. It's whatever I feel works for that body part, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, actually I'm kind of the same way. Yeah. I tell other people that it's like for arms, I like high volume. Mm -hmm. For back, I like high intensity, but I mix it up. Is depending on the stage I'm at. Yep, exactly. And then chest, I like to a phase of pre heavy to start with. Yep. But even in the same training, starting up high volume and yeah, and super more, sets. Yep. We'll do 30 seconds, and I'll do it again after, and then we'll do 20 seconds. Yeah. I'll do gotcha. it. Again. Yeah, and then it's just, just it, it, it'll the, just decrease by. By, by 10 seconds, yeah, so 10 seconds. So 30, 20, 10, and that'll be it. Yeah, perfect. Boom. So I hit my set, we rest 30, and then so on and so forth. Let's do it. Let's get it. And this is just, you know, initially okay. I'm shooting for 12, okay. and then we'll just get what we can. Okay. Mm. 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 Mmm. 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 Mmm.
Come on, easy money. Come on. Mm. You got this. Mm. The champ is here. Mm. Mm. Yep. Last one. Yep. Just win, come on. I was kind of breaking down that time. <laughs> so, so like, you see a lot of people when they start to lose their form, they'll like, they'll they'll just try to get more body into it. But what I try to do is, um, try I try to, to almost push my chest up as I'm doing it. So it gives me, it, it gives, yeah, it gives me a little, yeah, a little momentum, but um, it's not a lot. Yeah. So just to eke out a few more reps. Um, but like you said, you don't want that form to break down too much, and. Uh, that's a pump. It's acceptable. Yeah, just accept. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Come on. Keep going. Go to your failure, boy. You got a pump? Yeah, keep going. You go to your failure. You go to your failure, not mine. I like that. There it is. Now we're working. Come on. Now we're working. Keep it tight. Give me another. There it is. <clears throat> now the 30 second start. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Like that. I'm gonna challenge him now. Good. Yeah, yeah. How many inches here? 24? Hey, look. No, this is 26 here. It don't take, it don't take much to get these bad boys go. going. <laughs> you got time. You got time. Yep, let me know when you're ready. Let's rock, go. Let's go. Go. Mm -hmm. Good. Work. <sighs> <sighs> Good. Come on. Come on. There it is. There it is. Yes. Good. Woo! 20 seconds. I love that. Let's keep bodybuilding alive, man. Yes. Good. Let's keep this shit alive, man. Keep, keep this one tight. Yeah. Move up close. Stand up straight tight. Yeah. Seven seconds. We have shows to win, man. Three, two, one. Let's rock. Boom. Mm. There it is. Mm. Two. Keep that tight. Yeah. There it is. Mm. There it is. Mm. Spread them apart at the bottom. Mm. Nice. Come on. Mm. Keep them tight. Keep them tight. Come on. Mm. Keep that tight right here. Lock it in. And just drive. Dang. There it is. Dang. Yes, give me one of them. Boom. Good, 10 seconds, go. Woo! Oh my. It's coming quick, don't walk away, bro. <laughs> it's coming quick. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Don't go nowhere. Go, let's rock. Let's go. Keep it tight, Come on. keep it tight. There you go. Yeah. Good. Push that chest up. Yeah, push the chest up. Come on. There it is, that's what I wanted to see. That's what I want to see. And again. And again. Good. Woo! Hey, I know you don't like the, the, nah, the little thing, it. but I got to nah, get you it. there. Nah, you need to. I got to take you there. You got to challenge me. I love that. I got to take him there. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's, what, yeah. that's what you're going to do. Nice. I want to call us up here. Yes. So I'm not going to leave. I'm going to let you easy for you. I know your dad doesn't, 
so you better watch out. <laughs> We're coming. Thank you, brother. Yeah. We're coming. So you like that little? Yeah, it. it's I good. It. It's a nice little switch up, little switch of the pace. So now we'll go ahead and we'll do um, some supersets here. So what I like to do is um, I like to do them on the cables. Okay. So I'd like to do a um, some like of an of a of an overhead. Okay. Um, and then a um, a uh, kickback kick on, on the cable. So I'll show you how I do them. Okay. Doing all this. So I like to try to stay upright as possible and get as much elbow flexion and then just squeeze down. And I drive my chest up, so I don't like to have my chest down here. I try to keep upright in control. So maybe like three second eccentric. So yeah. maybe like one, two, three, drive down. Kickbacks here, you really don't need to go heavy on these, especially when you just pre-exhausted yourself. Even that's a little bit heavy. So this should be good. So I like to keep a good posture here, uh, straight flat back, have the elbow, about 90 degree bend in it, and then just kick straight back. So you don't want the elbow to drop, you don't want it too high, so keep it nice and even, everything nice and even, and then we just kick straight back. And control it, control it coming back. So don't just let the cable fall back. So come back out, squeeze. Almost try to touch the other end of the, of the wall back there, wherever you're going. Reps, squeezing, keeping that tension underneath, con that just that constant tension. Yeah. You know, I, and I, you, you may not see like or hear me counting like the, the eccentric or like people call it the negative. Yeah. But like I'm counting in my head like, yeah. you know, one, two, three, and then I'm you know squeezing one, two, three, and you're doing the same. And you may not even just count. But yeah, yeah, but it's automatic for us. Yeah. But for you know people, younger people out there who are starting off, you might need to. Kind of count. count. Yeah. One, two, three. Squeeze. One, two, three. Squeeze. Because if you're just doing this, you're missing out on yeah. all of that. You just keep them in the same range of motion. Yeah. As well. You keep. You miss. If you do just do this, you're missing out on a lot of the, the significant part of the exercise, in my opinion. Yeah. First go. Let's get it. Yep, come on. Go, oh, come on. Yep. Gotta get that squeeze, come on. Yep, good. Two more, come on. Yep, easy. Hold your arms, hold your arms. Wanna be your worst enemy. Let's get it. Yeah. Oh shit. Hell yeah. 
There we go. I've got a question for you. Sure. What motivate you to do bodybuilding? And I know every show I went to, every single show, you was there with your dad, yeah. loving, taking pictures with everyone, with the fans, with everyone in the stand, all the athletes. And I kept watching you. I was like, you're the only one that does it in that kind of way, yeah, yeah. going to every show. I was like, in all of your dad is your biggest sport. Mm -hmm. And I know your dad is a bodybuilder. Yeah. I was like, is your dad an influence on you to do bodybuilding? Or you actually decide to do it for yourself? Yeah, so my dad actually comes from like American football and he also did like Olympic lifting. Um, but for me, um, when I hurt my neck playing football, like American football, I had a really bad neck injury. But I'm going to finish after you get your set done. So we got to get no, this. You, I got, you, you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't want to distract you. No. Um, so what after I um, hurt myself playing football, uh, the doctor said, okay, like you can't play anymore. So I had to find something else. So it was either I ran like track and field because I was a, a track runner at the time. Okay. Um, or, you know, I, I do CrossFit. <laughs> and I was like, that's not happening. I'm not doing CrossFit. Um, after I saw they were doing like handstands and all that stuff, I was like, not my God. Not, that's not my thing. Um, but I love the weight room. And we talked about this last night. Like, I had such a passion for the weight room. And that's actually what I love doing more than playing football. We just talked about this. I loved being in the gym, you know, training and pushing guys like him, you know, to be better. And guys pushing me to be better. So, Bodybuilding was just an outlet for the weight room, almost, you know what I mean? So I could build my physique, I could push myself really hard, and I could still enjoy training weights. Um, so that's why I got into bodybuilding. I saw guys like Kai Green and Phil Heath at the time, and I saw how they, you know, were able to change their physiques and then motivate and inspire people. And I was like, that's what I want to do. Um, so I got into bodybuilding, and, you know, we just, dove head, head first into it. And in any sport, my dad, you know, always got into it. So it didn't matter if it was baseball, football, track and field. Um, he got into it as much as me and he learned as much as me. So, and one thing that we wanted to do was we wanted to be around the people. And that's why we go to all the shows. You know, we want to connect with everyone and, you know, get to meet all these people, learn their story, why they got involved in training and lifting. And maybe they can inspire me more or i can inspire them vice versa so there we go bro perfect good get that full of yeah get the, yeah good yeah come on let come on yeah yeah there there it is get that full stretch full stretch full stretch come on back that's the one i'm talking about right there perfect right there again good job so that's the stuff that i like to do you know i love this right here like this this is my peace, this is my happy place. You know what I mean, connecting with guys and training and, and learning about them. Uh, so yeah, that's what we love to do. And that's why I got into bodybuilding. Um, it's, it's, it's uh, you know what I mean, it's my passion. Yep. Good, come on. Run, come on. Yes. Yes. One plate too? Yeah. Yeah, off his side. Thank you. Two plates? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, come on. Don't fake me. <laughs> I want to see you die. <laughs> Let's go. Good. Come on. Keep going. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
ones, them ones. Make them count, come on. Come on, make it count. Good job, good job. Get some quality reps. Yeah. Come on, make it count. Come on. Yep. Good. Yep. Good. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Keep going. It's still there. Good. One more. It's still there. Shit. Woo. Let's get it. 2024. They ain't be ready. We coming, baby. Come on. Deep waters now. You gonna sink, you gonna swim. Figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah. yeah. I'm in it now. Now you got me. Now you got me started, bro. Oh boy. Now you got me started. Let's get it. Now you got me started. Let's go. Perfect. Keep working. Yeah. It's still there. Yeah. Keep going. It's still there. The form's great. Go. Yeah. Give me again. Yes. Oh, yes. It's oh. I'm not even helping. Come on. Come on, bro. Come I didn't even help. I didn't even help. I need it. Yeah. I yeah. need help. There it is. Yeah. Go to failure. Go to failure. Yeah. Again. Yes. One yeah. more. One more like that. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah. There it is. Woo. There it is. I love this shit. I love it, bro. That's what we're talking about. Don't call a comeback. Rick Boy was all here. That's right. <laughs> Talk to him. I was just a slip. Damn. What? Come on. Whew. It's a full extension. <sighs> Come on. Yes. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> there we go. I got you, bro. <sighs> Good. Come on, come on, come on. Good. I got you. Go. All the way, all the way. Ah. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Ronnie Coleman said, and nothing but a peanut. <laughs> We're going to start off with the preacher curl here. Um, I always like to do, as you saw with the, um, the cable kickbacks, I like to do a single arm exercise unilateral work just to make everything sure everything's even because as we mentioned earlier yeah. you're going to have a strong like one arm is stronger than the other one leg is stronger than the other so you know to make sure that you keep everything balanced because that's the name of bodybuilding balance you want to be top to bottom left to right all around front to back balanced um, we're going to do some unilateral work so here we're starting off preacher curl single arm your biceps speak italian spanish french <laughs> everything is bigger than his legs. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Okay. That's the big guns. He broke the machine. First set. Connection is just there. Just yeah, it's just I, you know it's like some people they don't might they might not need to like train their chest like crazy heavy because they just feel everything. 
So that's like me with my arms. Like I just arms. In every as well? in quads as well. So it's like everything. I just feel like the, the, the like I get a pump from doing stairmaster. Wow. Yeah, walking upstairs like my legs just get so you know Full. pumped. Oh. So yeah, same thing with my arms. It's just wow. I wish it was like that with my back. Wow. It'll be there though one day. What? One day. <laughs> Is your actually your first contact with Brazil? Yeah. Tell me what you felt how people treated you. Yeah. Love. Say man. a bit what you feel about Brazil. <laughs> just nothing but love. Every since I, we stepped off the plane, you know, you guys came here at five in the morning to pick me up, and that's really early. <laughs> and uh, we didn't even get off the plane because it was late until almost like seven. Um, AM so you guys waited around for quite a bit you know just to pick me and my father up and you know you took us to you know get some food and make sure we don't have to um, you know want for anything so even if there's a language difference um, the attempt is there to understand each other and that's what's very just just you know loving and welcoming is that I was we were both my father and I were received very well so um, it feels like home, you know, even though it's a different location, even though the language is different, um, you know, people here just make it feel at home and that we don't need to really, you know, feel different, you know, or separate. So that's what I really like about it. Um, it's been great, man, ever since I landed here. Um, and this is only the second day. <laughs> Gonna be some incline curls. Okay. And then we'll do standing hammer curls. Okay. And we'll just basically flip around on the bench. And, and we'll do, yeah, spider yeah. curls. Boom. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. On it. Super easy. Yeah. But man, your arms will blow up. So, and, and peep out the way that I. In Brazil, they're going to see you train light as fuck. They're going to see <laughs> you. <laughs> hey, when you do it like this, you don't need a lot of weight. So, you'll see. Uh, so, but this is the warm up set. So, we'll show you how it is. This way, I can give you an accurate, um, you know, description without having to strain and, you know, I mean, I'm grunting. The, so. the saying in here, you yeah. said, Carlos. Carlos Treino <laughs> Fofo. <laughs> hey, you see the arms though. <laughs> you see the arms. So good technique about this though is you'll see a lot of people though, kind of they'll be here and you get a good stretch, but guess what? When we're using dumbbells, what's the main resistance that, that, that we're fighting against, right? Gravity. Gravity. So the, the farther the weight your, your, your arms are from the, your body, you know what I mean? The weaker you are. So it's, you know, the more gravity. So you're stronger, closer to your body, your center of mass than you are when you're you are versus when you're away so what we're going to do is we're not going to be as close to our, our center of mass so we're just going to pull them slightly out like this and that way it's just going to make it a little bit harder and you get a more stretch on the bicep and we're just going to curl all the way up and then three second countdown one two three done easy two there we go show them <laughs> Not as big as Carlos, but mm. that's the motivation. Hiding, right hiding the game. Hiding the game, always, always. I'm shy. I'm shy to take the shirt off. <laughs> and then we'll just go straight into hammer curls. And a cool tip for these, right here, same thing. A little bit farther away from your center of mass. So if you see my elbow, I'm going to bring them slightly forward. And this is going to be more, just more resistance through gravity. So watch.
It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to get the job done. Every now and again, you can move weight and, and uh, push the weight up and push the poundage and use a little bit more body language. But today, you know, I really wanted to emphasize the fact that you don't have to do that in order to progress. You can use lighter weight, stricter form, and progress with the, with the strict form, and that way, you get stronger and you get more out of less. And that way you can carry your body longer in this sport. You won't wind up with elbow pain, shoulder pain, wrist pain. Um, we all can't be Ronnie Coleman, even though we want to be. <laughs> Bom, galera, curiosidade, tanto minha, acredito que você que está aí em casa também quer saber quantos centímetros, bom, até é perigoso falar quantos centímetros, tem a braceta do Carlos Thomas Jr. Então, vamos deixar aqui exclusivamente para vocês. Eu tive a trocar uma ideia com ele, ele nunca me deu os braços, então, em primeira mão aqui, vamos saber quantos centímetros tem o braço do Carlos Thomas Jr. O braço, o braço, não é perna não, ó. <laughs> and really, actually, one of the videos, we need to do the legs. Man, the quad is going to be ridiculous, man. Yeah. The Bro. quad is going to be, man. They get too pumped. <laughs> man, it's going to be magic. Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We got <laughs> oh, shit. Man, you guys need to tell me exactly where I need to put it on. Because some people say, hey, you need to measure properly. I need to put under whatever. <laughs> some people complain too much. Preguinha, está no, no lugar certo? Está no lugar certo. A galera está a ver? Estou a esticar. Ó, ó. Para não ver que eu estou. Não estou a deixar folgado, não. Tá bom? Quanto hoje? Mano, vamos dizer 55 centímetros. Tá. You know? I got the dryness. He has the size. Now it's the combo. Yeah. You, you watch Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. That's what yeah, I'm going to do. do the no, 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 let's yeah. go. Ah! <laughs> I'm not going to even touch it. <laughs> you can't mess it up. We'll, t we'll turn to yeah. a fat kid. Let's do, let's do it again. The Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> oh my the <fusion>. God. <laughs> Rude boy. Yes, what, what, do you, what do you think about uh, training with Carlos today? God is crazy, man. God is crazy. He's trying to knock me off. Try to kill me. <laughs> As an amazing method of work. Uh, technique. He's really precise with the movement. He knows he goes from A to B, then B to A. He knows how to drive the right way. You know, his mind connection. He knows exactly what he's using the weight for. As sometimes we go a little weight lifting, uh, ego lifting, because we decide to go by the poundage. So we're on a swing. Uh, he's not the strongest guy in the gym, he's gonna win championships when they win shows so you got to be really smart how you train how to be really connected have the right balance in your physique 
as I saw with Carlos, each body part, it trains differently. So he chooses some methods for biceps, some methods for triceps, so he switches around mm -hmm. depending on what he needs. So, exactly. but you can tell me more, you can tell more to the fans exactly it, yeah, your, yeah, your it, type exactly. of style. If you see like, you, you have, I think you have like two, we call, you know, two dichotomies, right? You have Ronnie Coleman on one side. Yeah. And we love Ronnie Coleman and how he trains because it's most motivating and we all want to do that. And we've probably all done that at some point. I know I have. But then like, if you remember, you see how Phil Heath used to train. Yeah. Very precise, very used, you know, his weights wasn't too crazy, but he had a really good physique and he had a lot of longevity in his physique. He didn't really have a lot of injuries. And that's something that, you know, I wanted to kind of combine on the two. You know, you want to bring that intensity of, you know, the Ronnie Coleman, but you want to have that, in, that focused and that precision that Phil Heath had when he was training. So it's like controlled intensity. So you want to make sure that you choose the right movements for each body part. So you see that we had dry, we had drop sets and, and like uh, supersets on the triceps because you think that's three th three muscle heads that yeah. you have. Yeah. So they could take a little bit more with the drop sets, and then your bicep has two heads. So we decided to do, um, you know, start off with a single exercise unilateral, um, and to make sure again that we kept the balance between the physique, and then we did a tri set. So one, two, three exercises, and that way we can get more work in a short amount of time. So you feel the pump, yeah. right? You feel your biceps fatigued, yeah. but we didn't have to go super heavy to get that done. There's a time and a place for all that, yeah. but today wasn't the day. Now, if we were doing you know, deadlifts, yeah. you're using more of your body. Yeah. So you gotta push the weight up. Yeah. And, you know, you gotta get crazy, get a, little, get a little hectic and, and a little bit more intense with that. But for biceps and triceps, it took a little bit more precision. Yeah. So you have to use the right tool for the job. You can't always train everything the same way. Um, so, like I said earlier, you know, when I train chest, it's different. When I train back, it's different. Yeah. Same thing for arms and so on and so forth. Um, so if you got anything out of this video, it's to make sure that, you know, you figure out what works best for you and then for what body part. And to remember that you always don't have to go crazy with the weight. Yeah. I love that. Just starting in here, start getting the pump. I was yeah, reaching the muscle stuff a lot. Nah. I don't want to be embarrassed. We need to you. measure your arms. No, I'm good. Yeah, I'm smart. <laughs> I'm older and I'm wiser. <laughs> <laughs> so, Carlos, if the guys in home like this video, what they need to do? Yeah, of course. You need to like, comment, subscribe. Remember to you know let us know what you'd like to see from myself, from Rude Boy, from everybody else, a part of the team, and uh, we'll stay tuned for more content. Nice. Let's go. Cool. Yeah.